Evening all, welcome back to the channel. I uh, received a comment over the new year from Stephen Sidorn. Uh, thank you very much. I hope that's uh, how you pronounce your name. Asking uh, what was the establishment percentage. So I thought I'd just, uh, as it's still um, not much uh, field work going on outside. So I thought I would just run through how... Um, we calculate establishment percentage and uh, walk you through the process. So here we have the Culverthorpe 1000 grain weight and drill calculator. And uh, as you can see, it's a proper antique job. So if you open the box, what you have inside is your little scales and your thousand grain um, tray. So what you end up doing is you put the seed in the tray and then you take the seed out of the tray and you put it in this little uh, box, this little weigh box, and then you balance it out. And with this scale, you slide it uh, backwards and forwards until it balances. So that's the process. And uh, now we will uh, have a crack at uh, putting it all together. So here I have, I've got some of the uh, Lennox uh, wheat, uh, uncleaned. And this we will put over the sections. And now I find that a pen is quite good for this, just to move them in um, into the slots. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit um, so that you don't have to wait around too long. So as you can see now, all the uh, cells are filled with grain. So it's worth saying that this um, this grain was cleaned by a CYO, and hence why I have a sample bag. Now what I actually find is it's quite helpful then to put it inside um, a piece of paper otherwise I find it's very difficult to get from there into the box blank sheet of A4 couple of loose grains there which we'll just pick up So we transferred them into the box. I'm holding this as, as gently as I can. So yeah, I would say that that gives us a thousand grain weight of approximately uh, 49 grams and then this red section we then have a sliding scale to give you a seed rate in the on the, gr the green slider here 
for different seeds per meter squared. So the AHDB Wheat Growth Guide uh, suggests a benchmark of 260 plants per meter squared, um, assuming 70% of sown seeds establish. However, on my heavy clay soils mean we suffer from a much lower establishment percentage and yield is the limiting factor. Uh, so significantly less than the 10 tonnes per hectare suggested in their graph. Therefore, looking at this graph, I prefer to focus on the point where the grain yield levels off, as shoot survival is less of an issue as water availability and hence shooting is not a limiting factor on, on my farm. So we have an objective of 150 plants per metre squared. This slide is based on a 95% establishment, but historically we believe it's much closer to 50%. So if we turn the tool over, a 50% establishment requires 400 seeds to achieve 200 plants per meter squared, obviously 400 divided by two. Assuming 150 plants per meter squared and 49 gram thousand grain weight divided by 50% we need a minimum of 147 kilos per hectare. Interestingly the wheat growth guide also suggested that we needed an extra 50 plants for every month planting was delayed. So assuming a three month delay uh, October, November, December we would need 300 plants for December drilling. However, assuming our objective returns to the 150 plants per meter squared, our last conventional drilling was done on the 20th of October and we had both drills, the Sky and the Claydon in action. Both used the same seed rate, the Claydon 200 kilos per hectare and here we have a plant count of 247, which gives us an establishment percentage of 61%, versus the sky, which also planted at 200 kilos per hectare with 112 plants, gives an establishment percentage of 27%. So I'm not saying that the Claydon is better than the sky, I'm just saying that in this particular year, our survival percentage was much better with the Claydon than it was the sky. And as I've said before, I believe that the weather conditions after drilling are just as important as the weather conditions before drilling. So uh, make up your own minds and uh, we'll see uh, what happens later in the year. Please don't forget, hit the subscribe button and give us a little thumbs up and I welcome your comments and if you have anything you would particularly like me to comment on or explain, uh, please put it in the comments below and I'll do my best. Thank you very much.